Hi, this is Mark Piffner. Welcome to MarkandJaneHomes.com, your number one source for real estate listings in Williamson County, Nashville, and surrounding areas. This video will help you through the process of finding homes that are currently for sale and also that are not currently under contract, which seems to be the problem with so many of the homes that pop up on some of the other sites. So if you type in www.MarkandJaneHomes.com on your browser, uh, and you'll find yourself here at the home page, the second button down, search all listings. We'll bring you up to the search page. Here, uh, it's going to be easiest if you start with a login, because if not, it's going to ask you for it later anyway to get all the information and tools that are available to you on the site. So click login, and if you're an existing user, you just sign in here. Uh, you can click on remember me and it'll remember your email address and then you just need to type in your password. Um, so, but if this is your first time, let's go to new users, create, put your first name in, last name, email address, and, and password that you can remember. If you want, you can have your password sent to you via email so that you got a way to look it up again in case you might forget it. Uh, you can also put in your phone number if you're planning on working with us so that we have a way to contact you uh, when need be. And if you're not working with us and you're working with another agent, you can also click that you are working with another agent and put in your agent's name. And, and you can also put in what you're interested in if you want. Um, I do have a login information here of Mark at MarkandJaneHomes.com. And so I'm just going to type in my password right there and click on remember me and it will log me in okay and once logged in it'll tell me I don't have any current searches uh, save searches or favorites but we're gonna look now at a new search which is right here and that will bring you up to this page which shows a map of all listings of all types uh, we want to narrow that down a little bit so we are going to go to the county in this case, I'm going to look at Williamson County, and I've got it down to 2,000 listings. Let's break it down a little bit more. Uh, we can add a city. Let's put in, you can actually put in several if you want. You can click on one, hold down the control key or the shift key, however you like to use your buttons there on your keyboard, and I've got two selected there. You can add those two cities. Now we're down to 1,200 listings. Then we can narrow it down some more with property types. Now I'm going to look at single family homes, but you could also look at some of these other options, including residential lease. If you know somebody that's going to be uh, leasing a property until they decide to buy, you know, Jane and I do manage several properties in the area and we do help uh, newcomers find leases um, to help them get through their initial transition stage here before they're ready to buy. Um, want to narrow it down some more to price range, uh, 400,000 to say 500,000. And also would like to have a little bit of land. So I want to start with properties that are just at least one acre or more. And so now we've got 25 matches. That's kind of getting into the manageable area. If you can get it down to 20 or 30 listings to look at initially, I think per search that's going to be a good uh, way to do that and the map actually zooms in on the area that you're interested in and so you can see some of the properties it gives you a little bit of information like the address and then of course if you want to get more information click on one of the listings and it'll give you the information you need there to look at that one if it's something you like, you can push favorite and it will add it to your favorites list, which makes it easier to find in the future. So now we're back to the original search page here. And as I showed you before, we got 25 matches. So I'm going to go ahead and save this search since it's kind of like what I want to look at. And once you save it, it will actually take all those listings, and you got to give it a name here. I'm going to just say Franklin, four to five hundred thousand. And you can you can also get email notifications on new listings. So so if you're actively looking, 
uh, you're going to find out it's very helpful to know about new listings as they come up, like the day of of market. And so you can just do new matches, or maybe you're going to look for price changes also. Maybe if you want to know about a house that price has been reduced, now it's in your price range, you might want to do that. Or if you don't want any email notification, you can do however you wish. So I'm going to keep it right there. You can uh, select how many listings you want to show up per page. Uh, you can always go to the next page, but if you want to have a longer page, you can do that. And descending by price is the sort order but that gives you a lot of options there so when you push save that search is going to stay under your login information and you're going to have it available to you anytime you want and uh, so we go back to um, uh, the search saver here 25 matches total click on that and that will bring up a list of all the properties that met your criteria now you can switch it to uh, a list view here versus a grid which it's currently at the grid uh, whatever way you like to look at it you can view the v do t details here or click on the MLS number or picture and it'll bring up more details and that's where you can save it as a favorite or you can save it here or Maybe you're going to see uh, a short sale banner on some of these. Maybe you might be interested in that. You can take a look at that. They do put that banner on there on short sales and foreclosures. Uh, here's a property that hasn't been built yet. So they're just showing you a little blueprint uh, as a thumbnail to show you that the house is being built uh, or they have plans to build it. So you can look at those as well. And so anyway, here are a lot of the properties that's for sale. And um, if you find one you want to know more about, just uh, view the details, as I said, or you can require, inquire to us to get you more information on it or request a showing. Now, if you got one that comes up like this, and you look at the details and it says contingency type financing, um, that's telling me that that, con that house has a contract on it. It's been accepted, but it is contingent upon financing. If it says financing or uh, sale of home or inspections, that property is probably not going to be available for showings. Uh, they're giving people a chance to try to get, get their contingency worked out. So you probably don't want to spend much time on these. However, if you want us to keep an eye on that home for you to see if things are going to you know possibly open up again we can do that for you as well just inquire about the listing and we can maybe give a call to the agent that has it listed and see what's going on there and, and if it's possibly uh, going to be coming back on the market uh, you do also have a choice of going to a larger map and points of interest here so you can kind of get an idea for you know what's in the area you can click on restaurants which this one's a little further out but as you zoom out you can see where some of the restaurants are or parks that kind of stuff so kind of neat it's got the schools on here as well so I've showed you how to do a save search back to results here and we're back to the results now notice we don't have the map and if you want to get back to that map and look at the properties that were on the map originally, you need to go to the search saver and you need to edit the search right here under tools. Then it will bring it back up with the map again and you can zoom in a little bit better. So Jane and I hope this instructional video will give you a guide uh, to take you through the process of finding your new home in Middle Tennessee. Make sure to let us know if you want additional information on any home that's listed or if you just would like to take a tour of a home that's currently on the market. I'd be glad to help you and thanks for listening.